Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is going to be the Lehigh Valley Phantoms preview, the next edition of the Ghostly Take to playing the Syracuse Crunch, where Tony and Drock has put out a tweet. The weather's not going to be all too squeaky clean. There's going to be a good bit of snow on the ground in Syracuse. So it's going to be interesting how much fans at the Crunch get out there to be able to give them really the home ice advantage. That would be able to give them a little bit extra energy, obviously, than the fans would have on the road. But as we go into this game, the Phantoms are going to be without Connor Bunneman now as he swaps his places with Max Willman. As Willman comes back down to the Phantoms, so that's obviously going to help their offensive output since he's their second best overall player to Morgan Frost, obviously on the season and just in general. Um, how he's played the past two mm -hmm. years, he's definitely that second best guy on the team. And now the best guy in terms of overall output on the team when it comes to being able to get on the score sheet since Morgan Frost is now up in the second line center. Congratulations to him due to the injuries with the Philadelphia Flyers. And if he plays well like me and your Reeve Wallach, check out the Flyers Nitty Gritty podcast over at Flyers Nitty Gritty. That's going to come out later that I did with him talked about. If he plays well, he's probably not going to be back down. So the Phantoms are going to have to figure it out. Without Frosty and might have to because of injuries, if Bunny keeps playing well, he's obviously one of the better grit and grind guys on the Phantoms. Really worked on his skating well as a good defender as well on both sides of the ice. That adds a little bit of skill as well. You were missing that from the Phantoms, and that might stay with the Flyers because he can kind of play the role, especially if he becomes more consistent in the faceoff dot where Frost was 60-something mm -hmm. percent yesterday, which was huge to see. If Bunny be can become consistent, not even to that level, but just good, He's probably going to end up stealing Nate Thompson's job since the veteran Nate Thompson just fills his role okay, but he's not a, he's an extra forward. He's not a night in, night out mm -hmm. forward at this point. He's too slow at this point. He's just a face-off guy, and he's a guy who mixes in great leadership in the locker room. So that's the difference there. The Phantoms don't have all these guys. They obviously still have their key injuries. Forced out for a while. Zade Wisdom hasn't been in all season. Uh Millman back there on defense hasn't been in all season, among others. So obviously Samuel urson has been down as well, so you haven't had the Swedish duo going of Urson and Sandstrom. You had Carrillo for a bit, and then Patty Nags is up right now. Of course, you had a very good game. He just wasn't able to get the win because the team was not able to capitalize as Josh Hosang was able to score on him. But this year, Syracuse was, of course, able to beat us in the only matchup that we had thus far against the Syracuse Crunch, with the second matchup, of course, coming this evening, as in that game, and this evening's game's at 7 o'clock, but in that game against the Syracuse Crunch, our Phantoms lost 3-2, to two, which was in overtime, and that was when Jimmy Huddington was able to score the overtime winner that Morgan Frost, aforementioned, who's not down there anymore, had a goal and an assist, so you're not going to have him to be able to get that two-point output tonight. You're going to have to figure it out elsewhere as they lost that game 3-2 to two to the Syracuse Crunch, the first tilt of the season between these two teams. You're going to have to find output elsewhere, obviously, since Morgan Frost ain't around tonight. But when it comes to goals for... Both of these teams are actually right on each other. Uh, 39 for the Phantoms scored this far this season. 40 for the Syracuse Crunch, who are 5 7 2 and 1. Our Phantoms are 3 8 4 and 1. But when it comes to goal differential, not good for either team. Minus 9 for the Crunch, but the Phantoms are in double digits at minus 13 because they have 52 goals against so the Crunch is 49. Uh, the Crunch, though, Phantoms are 0 2 2 and 1. In the recent streak, where the Crunch are 0-4-1-1, um, obviously they are in a little bit of a deeper skid right now, so maybe the Phantoms have caught them at a good time to kind of, since they've been in more competitive games of late, playing a better game, still not being able to get over the hump though and get enough goals to get wins and support their team goaltenders enough consistently, but they're getting there where in the last 10 our Phantoms are 3-3-3-1, three, three, three and one, where it's 3-5-1-1 one and one from the Crunch, so maybe they're catching the Crunch at the right time. The problem is the Phantoms, of course, are missing key pieces in Frost and a guy that's a great grid and grinder that would be helpful to have against a team like the Crunch in Connor Bunneman, so you're going to have to have guys step up like, of course, the Ratcliffs of the world. Like, of course, the Jackson Cates of the world. Not that they're not playing good games already, but just in terms of offensive output. And, of course, if Ruby's back, he's been playing a good game. But with guys out, you're going to need a little bit more offense from guys like those, as well as Maxime Shushko, who's, I think, looked good on the ice this year, but only has produced 
one point. So you're going to need more offense out of some of these guys in order to pick up the slack for guys that are going up to the Flyers or guys that are, of course, the biggest parts of the offense and Zade Wisdom when he was here with the Phantoms and, of course, Tyson Forster not being around this season thus far and Forster being out pretty much for the rest of the season with that five-month tag. So, um, unfortunately, the Phantoms have that, but they have to have that next man up mentality. They've been more competitive late. Hopefully, they're catching the crunch at the right time and they're going to be able to get a W to keep pushing themselves in a better direction and like I wrote in my article, if you want to check it out, Nitty Gritty, between or about Jerry Mayhew, about how he's doing all that he can as well as Frost, where he was down, was, and Woolman is. But he's doing all he can, I wrote it on Mayhew, to be able to get this offense going as he, in his um, seven games on the season thus far, has um, four points and already has three goals and is playing well himself, it's just the team around him is not picking up the slack enough and not doing enough for him to be able to obviously have the utmost factor like we saw guys do last year, like the Max Womans of the world, the Zade Wisms, and the Tysons Forster, because the overall team was churning and all so on is around. That ain't happening this year, and that's what the Phantoms need to start doing. It sounds like a broken record since it's the issue with the Flyers as well. It's kind of been an organizational issue this season. But we need to see a good game where you keep the crunch to the outside. You got good goaltending again, but you're also repping there for your goaltender. You're representing your goaltender and blocking shots and getting in the lane and playing a better, efficient, all-around game in front of them. And the Phantoms are catching the crunch at the right time, so they should be able to at least walk out with a point in this game, if not be able to get the two points. So everybody have a great and pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and Syracuse Crunch where they're catching the crunch at the right time, but obviously need guys to step up due to the fact that the best player, Morgan Frost, is up. And Max Woolman is, of course, coming back down. Woolman was tipped with the Flyers. And then Connor Bunneman, the grid and grind guy that would be nice to have against the team with the crunch, is also up as well among the other injuries that the Phantoms have. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Phantoms.